it's so cool uh, for us to be pushing the digital boundaries of, of, of what's expected from an agency. And do you know what? I don't think anyone else is keeping up with us and we're showing no signs of slowing down at all. Welcome back to another vlog. Sorry we haven't been around over the last couple of weeks. Uh, Ollie's been busy with university. We've had loads of stuff going on, but we're back on the train. Uh, so, got a good episode today. Uh, there's a lot of news to talk about, a lot of profile news. Uh, first of all, we are growing really quickly and establishing ourselves bigger than what we expected. Um, on a wider footprint, shall we say. Uh, we've signed a few new, new big clients, one of which being Wasabi, the sushi uh, restaurant chain, 65 stores around the globe, mainly around the UK and London, but they've got a few uh, around the world. Uh, big, big client. We were, this is an interesting one. So Ollie and Matt went down to see them and Matt got talking to, Matt Paintman got talking, put his little bing, should we put his little bing up? Matt Paintman, bing. He got talking to, their marketing manager, and we were actually running with 15 other agencies um, for that job and to, to sign them as a client, which is amazing for us. Like, it really blew me away. And when asked why they chose us, this is important to know, um, they said it was because they really liked our website and these vlogs. The guy watched a load of our vlogs and he felt like he understood who we are as a business and, and what we're about. So these vlogs actually won us that job um, with the other work that we've been doing. So. Like, hats off to, to Ollie, the team, everyone at Profile who's digging in and really um, establishing our, our roots as a major player, not only in Cambridge, I think we're, 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 we're well on the way for that, uh, but also beyond that as a business. So, what have we got in store today? We're gonna have a little bit of a sales meeting now, uh, which I hope you can come into that, Ollie, and, and we're gonna go and see the new office. Uh, just general day today, running the business today. Get some, have a, have a bit of a sit down chat with everyone if you can, Ollie, as well, yeah. Um, touch base with a few people, but yeah, we're, we're really uh, we've we've ironed out our foundations. I, I feel now, um, and now's the time to to build a serious building. Uh, I want to build a skyscraper, but one brick at a time. Let's go. Oh, so the sat with staff. How's it gone the past month or so? Cheers, Ollie. So <laughs> it's actually been uh, not not so much just the last month. It's been a really interesting, probably two or three months, to be fair. Uh, it's been a really interesting time for the business, uh, kind of from especially this year. You know, we've looked to really kick on. That really isn't helping having a big man. All right, mate. All right, all right. Yeah. Right. Not trying to do a vlog or anything. <laughs> Nothing like, nothing like a bit of noise to put you off. Uh, so, yeah, look, so kind of at the start of the year, we made it a bit of an ambition. Um, our financial year actually more to the point from, from March onwards that we really wanted to kick on. Uh, we have really established ourselves probably in the last two or three months into a really strong position, brought on, I think, three or four national clients as well as some others kind of very much at the, the sort of regional national level as well as obviously your, your bread and butter which is our, our local clients and, and we very much want that to, to stay kind of at the core of what we do you know we've very much and we built the business around local business small businesses helping them move forward but the natural progression was always going to be working with bigger contracts, bigger clients such as Wasabi, um, who have 61 restaurants, as I'm sure Matt has probably already said. Uh, but like, it's really exciting to be working with those kind of people, and that doesn't happen by chance. We actually won that deal through uh, the work that we're doing, so the vlogging, the, the website itself, actually they were really impressed with the website, so hats off to Chris on that front, but the work that Matt and, and Ollie and, and Jack have done on the videos have really kind of taken us to the next level in that respect. Um, so yeah, it's really exciting time. 
really sort of looking forward to seeing how the next six months goes, getting to the new office in the next couple of months and uh, yeah, we're in a strong position um, and I think that's a lot to do with kind of having someone like myself who's moved out of the, the sales environment purely. So obviously I joined Matt as a BDM and to grow the business, whereas now my role is very much more operational as we've grown to a, a team of, uh, what are we now, eight? Are we eight? Eight plus you Something and like eight plus you and Jack, so a few others floating about. But yeah, eight official, um, which means you know there's some management required, and and having someone uh, like me that knows the business inside out to kind of manage the operations, uh, I, I think has helped stabilise. But obviously the, so the the BDMs that we've got now, with Matt and myself, still bringing the work in. You know, it all it's all coming together really nicely. So yeah, looking to push on from here. So this is an interesting thing. Like yesterday. We looked at the board and there's 11 websites have gone live this month already, which is incredible. Like that's one every every uh, couple of days. This so far this month is the 20, 22nd. the 22nd today. So that's one every other day it's gone live. We're selling like mad, but even better than that, the web development team, Chris, head up, headed up by Chris, Brendan and Shannon, absolutely killing it. Uh, we've just had a client in with Chris yeah. looking at their website. Um, how did it go? Yeah, it went, it went well actually. So we had um, there's an automotive company based in Huntington. They come down. Obviously, we've been we've been doing their website for uh, about six weeks to a couple of months, and you know we just had them in just to go over a few last bits and get it signed off pretty much. So I think probably another hour or so left to go on it, and then there'll be another one left for the month. And yeah, we've got one on the board. Another couple of last then. Yeah. But did, did you know, for me, the best part of that is they we've given them given them a first look. They loved yeah. it. They wanted a few tweaks and changes. They couldn't quite understand it. The website journey through the website. Yeah. The, the functionality of the aspect of it. Chris has got them in there, they've gone over it all, Chris has ironed out all the problems, all the creases. Being able to come in and meet your web developer in a beautiful meeting room like that on a big 60 inch plasma screen so you can sit there, get all your problems over and done with, you can tweak all your changes. Uh, for them, that's brilliant and that's priceless for us to be able to deliver that kind of service for our clients through the wonderful work that Chris and his team are putting in. Move over the moon. So, being the leading videography service digital agency in the county, we are now on our way to Upward. Yeah. To Upward to meet a new contact who's, you're so good walking backwards by the way, who's gonna go and do some aerial shots of a client's work. So let's go, let's go and find out what, what's going on today. From the sky. Generally, generally aerial does mean from the sky to be fair. So we're here on site with FRMA, which is Fire Risk Management Associates. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> See, there you go, it's a good start. Absolutely fantastic surrounding building, and we're looking to, to capture some shots. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna let Joe explain a little bit about kind of the business and, and what we're doing here and what we're doing for him. That's all right, Joe? Yeah, no problem. So we've got the drone operator here today, Theo, and he's gonna be taking some shots for us. Uh, we're gonna be putting on the website that Matt's designed for us and uh, we're basically going to be doing a full sequence of photographs of inside the offices, the new premises and of the area around where we do our training. So you've just spoken to Matt and the client. What an amazing premises. Um, what's, what's nice for me being on site with this now is it's just how involved profile are in, this, in, in being ingrained in these customers, achieving more online. That's exactly what we set out to do when we started this business. You know, it was only two or three years, two and a half years ago that me and Matt were working from my kitchen table at home. Um, and now we're out on site with a, 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 an amazing guy behind the camera now. We've got one of the best aerial videographers uh, and photographers around working for us today as well with Theo. It's like, it's so cool uh, for us to be pushing the digital boundaries of, of, of what's expected from an agency. And you know what? I don't think anyone else is keeping up with us and we're showing no signs of slowing down at all. We're gonna keep going with this and we're, we're gonna, we're gonna set, raise the bar and set new standards for what's expected from the digital agency and it, I'm so passionate and excited about this now because I can see it see, it's unfolding in front of our very eyes here and now and but today moving forward they will not be able to keep up with us very soon I'm so passionate about that so we're, we're at our office we were just at uh, 
upward, just upward. We come the back way to Abbots Ripton to our brand new office, which is five and a half, six weeks away from being done. I don't think it's been on the vlog. How long was the last time it was on the vlog? Well, so 20, 20. So we're, 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 we're 10 weeks further ahead. The guys have ploughed through the other offices who are going to be in in like two weeks. We're going to be the last unit to go in, but come inside and check this out. This is absolutely incredible. It's really starting to take shape now. Uh, yeah, come on, let's go and have a look. I feel like this is MTV Cribs. So do, like, this is where the magic happens. That's too early, that's the bedroom, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> we'll have all this like frosted glass, profile digital agency with a big sign on the wall here. Uh, you're going to come straight in to our glass box meeting room. There's going to be profiles on there. We've got artificial grass going on the floor. We're going to have colourful bean bags uh, for everyone to sit on. It's going to be really, really good. Cool. Very, very creative, which we wanted to, um, which is important for us the whole time. We're going to breed creativity here. Like We've now got the kitchen in place. I think you'll agree it looks absolutely amazing. Food in. Are you ready for this? This watch out. Now, shout out to our client, Parker Rose Interiors, who have delivered this kitchen on behalf of the builder. Like, they have absolutely smashed this. The entire process with this kitchen has been sensational. Cannot recommend Parker Rose Interiors enough. We've got a data cable room in there, two toilets. But let's go and have a look at the studio. I don't think on camera this comes across as big as it actually is. But this is, this is a big room. Uh, you've seen it all before. You see the, the four sockets on the wall? We're gonna have, we're gonna have four vertically mounted 60 inch plasma TVs. So it's gonna be a digital backdrop that we can interchange, modify, and work with any different clients who wanna come in. We're gonna have a little stage area with some stalls, podcast area over there as well. So any of our clients who want to come into the studio, use the digital setup, feel free to be part of the service we're now offering. Hence, hammering home what I said earlier about blowing everyone else out of the water. This is going to be a hell of a digital asset for us. Let's come, let's come into the main office. This is essentially going to be the engine room. Frank's desk here uh, with five people on each desk. Another one on here. Fully air conditioned as well, which is a big thing. And this is the final, final room where, where development are going to be. Building their websites and stuff. They're going to be in here, enclosed out of the noisy room of the Rock Ape salesman banging the, banging the sales drum. Annoying everyone. You see him over there, look. See him, that is Rock Ape number one. He's not listening to that beat your chest like a gorilla? Yeah. Like a monkey, do it like a monkey impression. No. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna they're gonna be separate. But as you can see, we've got glass. Glass everywhere. Very open plan. Uh, this is a big, big step up for us as a business. Smashing it, doing great, you really elevate yourself to a, a, another professional level. Chris, Brendan, and Shannon, you guys are dominating it. Doing great, like 11 websites in a month so far. That's a little, that's seriously um, impressive. Um, you're not stopping there either, are you? Like, f me, there's loads more to go. Fudge me. <laughs> so, yeah, let's have some, obviously, I'm getting married Friday, won't be a couple of weeks. So, we just had an amazing little lunch with everyone as a little thank you for such a good month. You know, it's always good to reset like that and get one together. Uh, it was really nice, really enjoyed that. Um, cool, so the next thing we want to talk about is like social media tip uh, for business owners. Are you watching this now? Um, 
We get asked a lot about this sort of stuff, what platforms should people be plowing their resources into? Uh, and uh, for me, your business will suit a platform better than the others. That's a fact. If you look at the sell, Instagram, very, very good at the moment, Facebook, like there's up cycles and down cycles with different platforms, but the key thing for me is to be active on them all. Dip your toes into all of them. Like Twitter for us is not very big at the moment, but we're still on it. We're still posting, we're still networking with people. Um, you know, LinkedIn as well, it's really coming good at the moment. And we're dipping our toes into that. I think my overall point is understand where to put uh, your effort, but always have your eyes and taste in the other services too, because the, the other platforms, sorry. Things like TikTok, It'll be very big coming up. Um, and those of you that get on these sort of platforms early and then make that early investment, even if you're only dipping your toe, it's important. So overall strategies, be active on all platforms because that creates a minimal amount of friction between you and your audience. If you've got an audience member or a customer on one platform, he doesn't like Facebook, he doesn't like Instagram. By not being active on the rest, you're gonna miss out on stuff like that. I think, you've got, I think people need to, in this day and age, they're also accessible from your phone. I don't think there's a, an excuse for it. Um, and if you haven't got time to post on all the different platforms, then look at outsourcing to an agency like us or similar. There's people out there for very reasonable amounts of money. It keeps you and your business active in the different pools and ponds that you're not swimming in. Hiya, I'm Daniela. I'm the new business development manager at Profile Digital Agency. I've um, been working here for three weeks now, really enjoying it, so yeah. Have you found the past, past few weeks? Busy. Um, building new client relationships, bringing on new business, um, getting to know the team on a whole, um, and just finding out more about the digital market industry as well. So it's been a manic three weeks, but really enjoyable. So what, what interests you about the digital sector? I think because everybody in the world needs needs the digital, like the, they all use digital marketing. I think businesses, um, even as a customer, you look at people's websites. We watch videos all the time nowadays. I know myself, um, if I'm looking at a product or a company, I go straight online. Um, so I just think it's so important to everybody, and I think it's such an exciting industry to be in. And being in sales, if you don't believe in your product, then you've got no chance. So yeah, really exciting. So what was your, what was your background before Profile? Um, so I was in the recruitment industry, and done a lot of sales, um, working with clients. So I do feel that from having that kind of background, I've brought that in to Profile and hopefully I can expand um, and help develop business with the team. So uh, Leanne and I are about to give you a bit of an insight into the industry, um, a bit a bit further devil and a bit further deeper under the skin, uh, straight into the roots of what we do and uh, what we have to constantly look at and analyse to ensure that we are carrying out our job properly. Um, so to start off, um, marketing. Um, with a really well planned marketing strategy, and I, I cannot stress this enough, with any business, um, if you have a really good marketing strategy and you have the strategy put into place and it's being monitored and effectively, uh, effectively used, then um, you will, you will, uh, you will end up getting more leads, which then generates money for the business. And I cannot stress the importance of marketing strategy enough because a lot of businesses um, don't necessarily keep their eye on the marketing or they'll just start something and just. Let, take the foot off the pedal a bit, take the eye off the ball, and the marketing will run wild, you'll start pumping money in things that you don't necessarily need to. Times change, so don't, don't use the same marketing methods through the years. Um, you've, got, you've got to be constantly monitoring, change that. Track what works, track what doesn't work, make a note of it. Um, and then when you find out what, what your winning formula is, use it and really, really go for it, because a well-planned a well, uh, out marketing strategy would really do your business some good. And I think uh, Leanne's about to talk to you about some Facebook ads now. So. Yeah, so Facebook ads are an amazing thing to use if you're a business wanting to kind of improve your growth, get yourself seen. Um, the more money you put into it, the better results you're going to get. Um, so we've recently done an ad for Crusader, um, put quite a bit of money into that one, targeted it really well. Um, so it all depends on location, age group, um, all the demographics really. So is that part of what Cam was saying about a marketing strategy? So that's yeah, what's so, working for that business? Yeah, so you need a strategy for your ads. So you need to figure out who you're going to target it to. 
um, what location they're going to be in. So if you're a company that just ships to the UK, don't broadcast it worldwide, basically. So for me, this has been one of the best vlogs we've ever done. The passion and the fire you see from every single one of the people in this business uh, is exceptional, and we're proud to be working with them. Um, it's been a good day. We've been out and about, lots of meetings this afternoon. We haven't had, I haven't had a chance to do much on camera, which is a bit, a bit of a bit of a pain. Probably from not you guys, not not you guys watching. Um, but yeah, thanks for thanks for tuning in again. But as always, we're now going to be putting this out direct to Facebook. It'll also go on YouTube. So if you watch on YouTube. Hit the like and subscribe button. If you're watching on Facebook, give it a share. I think it might be have some information in there that might help someone. Give it a share, give it a like, tag your mates. But once again, thanks for watching, we'll see you soon.